we sh- the, the film was shot as like a is a Cold War thriller, but it had a lightness to it as well. Yeah. Uh, you know the, the the all the stuff that happened in Moscow, the the tension, the the high, the political pressure, you know all of that stuff was real. I mean we felt it. I felt it. I was breaking the law. He was breaking the law by meeting. So you could have this film about Tetris that was really a Cold War thriller, but it sort of it it, it satisfied the gamers as well. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I played for five minutes. I still see falling blocks in my dreams. It's poetry, art and math, all working in magical synchronicity. It's it's the perfect game. So we spoke not too long ago, uh, back during the Stonehouse Junket, and it was just very interesting how these are so totally different from one another, but they're both about a very particular era in history and just the insane things that happen. And I just, I I was one of those people, first generation Game Boy, played Tetris, was so into it. And I did not have any idea this story. Like, how did you even wrap around putting the story on screen? With great difficulty at the beginning, yeah, because, (laughs) yeah. Because uh, we had to shoot it all in Scotland, uh, so yeah, it was it was a it was a very tough one to make. I didn't know, but it, but it was one I was really passionate about making because when I read the script, like yourself, um, I had no idea of the origins to this. And when I finished reading the script, I was like, "Wow, this is this really happened? Wow!" I thought I have to make this film so uh, when people see this movie, that's how they feel. Yeah, and that was my motivation. That was my guiding thing throughout was you're making this film to surprise people yeah and Stonehouse was kind of the same like in terms of yeah the the uh they're very different stylistically and in, in, in pace and stuff but another like ridiculous uh you know set of events that you can't believe actually happened the most powerful man in communist party is watching you and your family do you know where your husband is what the hell is going on the world is changing, and Soviet Union will not be left behind. You want to play with the big boys? This is how the world works. Where is my money? This is insane. We can't protect you. Sometimes you got to forget the rules. And at the beginning of this film, there's a sense of humor that is just kind of there, and there's like a lightness to it. And it's kind of fun, and it pulls you in. And then at some point, maybe about a third of the way through the film, it turns into this really tense story. Yeah. And it's just kind of peppered throughout with the great music and then all the 8-bit graphics. At, at what point did you all decide to pull the like the animation element into it? That was very much into post, yeah. We, we had a... We, the, the film was shot as like a... as a Cold War thriller, but it had a lightness to it as well, yeah. Um, it had comedy to it. Because you, you see the performances, you see the Robert Maxwells and, and the Steins and stuff. They're all light and funny performances in places. Um, but yeah, the 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 the, uh, the graphic style stuff came in post because obviously you can't shoot that, right? And it, a lot of it wasn't in the script. There was little hints to it, so that came in, in more in post production and was fed in as more of a nod to the gaming industry. And you, so you could have this film about Tetris that was really a Cold War thriller, but it sort of it it, it satisfied the gamers as well. And with Taron in the lead, he's such a charismatic actor and he just brings this energy to playing Hank like you want to root for him. What was it like working with Taron? It was great fun, yeah. It was, uh, you know, he's a very professional guy, challenges you as a director, you can challenge him as an actor, and uh, and that creates a really fun environment and, uh, you know, he's in it for the right reason. And with this story, there there is an element to it that reminds me that everybody's always criticizing how video game movies never work and there's always problems with adapting. And this obviously isn't Tetris as the story, but the story of how it became. Yeah. Um, were there any logistical challenges in bringing this story beyond what you said, filming it in Scotland versus mm. being in Moscow? But what were the biggest logistical challenges to overcome here? For me, it was a car chase. It was because the car chase was a fully visual effects uh, two and a half minute thing, which which took almost a year to put together because it was 
it was such a beast of a thing, you know, like all the exteriors in Moscow and stuff all being made on a computer, you know, and that's, a, that's an incredibly difficult thing to do because it's a, not only it's a car chase, but it's a period car chase as well, you know, so uh, yeah, to, to make that look half, um, you know, believable, yeah, it was, it was a big thing and I'd never done a lot of visual effects before, so that was the biggest challenge for me. Well, it's phenomenal. I absolutely love the movie. I can't wait for people to check it out. Thank you so much for your time today. Not the bad. So I had a Game Boy the moment that it came out. I don't think that a month or even a week has gone by that I have not played Tetris. It's the, like, the first video game I introduced my kids to. It's just one of those iconic, important games in my life. And yet for all these years, I had no clue that this was the story behind it. It's such a fascinating story, and I guess the question is how, I know obviously changes have to be made for a movie, but how close is this story to what really happened? So we uh, spent a lot of time on the script. Uh, you know, the, 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 all the stuff that happened in Moscow, the, the tension, the, the, uh, the political pressure, you know, all of that stuff was real. I mean, we felt it, I felt it. I was breaking the law, he was breaking the law by meeting. Uh, me going into the into Elorg, I was breaking the law. Um, so, yeah, I felt all that, and we made sure that that was captured in the movie. So, that, so all the scenes that were like happening inside of Elorg, the tension, yeah, it's real. Will things ever be the same again? Go, 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 go! This is criminal. Yeah, I would say that as far as all the business life of of the Tetris uh, you've seen in the movie was pretty accurately reproduced as as much as the movie allowed the stuff. You understand that there sure. are all this uh, Hollywoodish exaggeration stuff and whatever, but all the names, all the all the persons involved in this movie, uh, uh, including including our family members, yeah. with the real names, everything was reproduced quite uh, accurately. So, so and emotionally and spiritually. Uh, all the picture was very truthful. The, the, you have our word for it because we we made sure wh while we worked on the script that that's that was this episode is about. The Soviet Union had worldwide rights. Nothing gets out easily. I'm gonna go to Moscow. You're walking into a country that still considers America enemy numero uno. Okie dokie. You sure you don't have to talk to your wife about this first? Pioneers have to bet the house to win. But not literally. Listen. Have you ever heard our apartment this quiet before? And Alexi, what would you say is your favorite part of the film? My favorite part of the film is, uh, let me see, P probably, uh, probably, uh, well, well, Soviet Union part is, uh, was really good. I I enjoyed the very beginning. The Japanese part is uh, looks for me very authentic. I mean, I mean the the character, the banker Yamauchi-san, uh, all was reproduced exactly like I saw it in Japan. So for me, for me, it's very truthful. But but Soviet Union is very close to me, and uh, and the, that's what was was part we, uh, we we were most in involved in kind of fixing the stuff so that was done good it's now the time for american emotion <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> hank i have to ask you you know everybody plays with their friends the conversation of if they make a movie of my life who's going to play me how do you feel about Taryn playing you Taryn did a great job you know um uh, <clears throat> He, you know, I watched uh, Kingsman and I watched Elton John. If he can go from Kingsman to El Elton John, he can go from Elton John to me, as far <laughs> as I'm concerned. So um, I had pure confidence in, in his ability to do it. And he carried it off. I was like, wow, is that me? <laughs> and it's an absolutely phenomenal movie. I loved it. I can't wait for people to check it out. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Tetris. 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 I don't get it.